Hey guys, it's Day Sims, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be starting Let's Play The Sims Life Stories Season 2. So um, last week, Season 1 with Riley's story did come to an end, and you guys really, really wanted me to continue on with the next season, which is Vincent's story. So that's what we're going to be starting up today, and I'm super, super excited to do this. Um, I know that this particular um, story or this season isn't as long as the first one, so um, it may be a little bit shorter, but it's still going to be a whole bunch of fun. So like I said, we're starting up Vincent's story. So um, this little thing says, despite being the wealthy CEO of Gigantor Computing Networks, Vincent Moore has never been lucky in love. While on a business trip to SimCity, Vincent has overseen the finish of JCN's biggest project to date the SimSat 9000 <laughs> communication satellite. The launch was flawless. The hands have been, what? Yeah, the hands have been shaken and the, bo and the house's bonuses, oh my gosh, I can't read. The bonuses are in the mail. Now Vincent eagerly returns to his modest mansion in Bit Bit Bitville to see his new girlfriend, Samantha. I am so sorry about that, guys. His new girlfriend, Samantha Hayden. Samantha told Vincent she has a big surprise waiting for him when he get back. Perhaps Vincent's luck is changing. So let's go ahead and hop into Vincent's story. So this has nothing to do with the first season, which is Riley's story. Nothing to do with her. This is a whole separate game, technically. So um, Riley's not going to be in this. So we're kind of finished with her story, and we're starting off with Vincent Moore's story, which is going to be quite interesting, if I do say so. So I'm really, really excited to hop in and kind of see what he has going on in his life, because apparently... It's interesting. <laughs> so, this must be Vincent here. Oh, it's good to be finally home after the two-week business trip. The SimSat 9000 communication satellite wasn't going to launch itself. So, this is Vincent. Ooh, I like his eyes. I'm loving his blue eyes. He's cute. Hopefully, we can find him. Oh, so this must be his girlfriend, I think. She's pretty. Aww. It's great to finally see Samantha again. I should go give her a kiss. She won't soon forget. So we need to kiss her and make out. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alrighty then. Oh my god, his house is a mess. Jeez. That's disgusting. Okay, they are just... Yep, alright. <laughs> this isn't awkward or anything. Jeez, they're all out of breath now. Calm down, people. Vincent, it's been three weeks since we started seeing each other. It's time we make it official. They've only been together for three weeks. I planned our wedding while you were away. I bought a lovely wedding arch with your titanium card. What? She's what? <laughs> this is way too fast for me, Samantha. We've only been seeing each other for three weeks, and I've been away on business for two of them. Maybe we should take some time off. Ooh, what's she going to say to that? Okay, this girl's kind of crazy. Time off? I was ready to marry you. I thought you loved me. You'll come to realize what a huge mistake you've made. I promise. Why are people crazy in this game? I don't understand. Okay, well, bye. <laughs> Weird. Oh, yeah, our house is a mess. What is all of this? This is disgusting. Ew. Oh, my gosh. This is so gross. Okay, seriously, like, who would just leave someone's house like this? Ew. Um, I guess we can start cleaning some- Yeah, I know the environment's really bad. It's a huge mess in here. I would- I would freak out too, dude. I would freak out too. Oh my god, this is so disgusting. That just really sucks. Like, he's been away on business for weeks. And then he comes home to a super disgusting house. Because that's a lot of fun. So, um, someone really made a mess of my house while I was away. I'll hire some help to get this place back into shape. Ooh, we can do that. So let's go ahead. Does he have a cell phone? Oh, he does. Call service. We'll do that. Oh my god, this is so nasty. We're gonna hire a maid. And hopefully we can get some help cleaning up all of this, because... This is bad. It's really, really bad. Okay, I'll be right over. Thank you. Let's go ahead and start cleaning a little bit more. 
Oh my gosh, this house is pretty nice though. It's really, really big. Whoa, there's like a music room. Oh, he has a pool. Oh my gosh, a wedding arch. A bar. This is really nice. Oh, okay, so it's just a one bedroom, it looks like. It's still really, really nice. I like it. Oops, sorry guys. I know I'm being super weird with the camera. <laughs> it's been a little while since I um, finished the last season, so I have to get reacquainted with the controls and everything again. So we're just going to speed this up a little bit. I can't believe Samantha put a wedding arch on my back deck while I was away. And where's my best friend Greg? He's supposed to be looking after the place. So we need to sell the wedding arch. So we need to go ahead and grab that. 360 simoleons, girl. I mean, it's not like we really need it. I mean, we have like 2 million simoleons. So yeah, it's a lot of money. <laughs> oh, hey, the maid is here. Thank you, maid lady for helping me clean this disgusting pig sty. Oh, he's gained a cleaning point. Awesome, because this house is disgusting. So I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit while he's cleaning and stuff. Okay, so that's taken care of. Go ahead and clean that up. At least we have the maid to help us because if not, this would take forever. We'll clean up around the outside. I need some comfort food. This mess has me feeling down. Ooh, comfort food. What do you want to eat in particular? Oh, nothing in particular. That's fine. We can totally get something to eat here. Oops. I agree. Food, comfort food makes the world better. Awesome. So let's go ahead and grab something. Is that a TV dinner? Seriously? You're wealthy and you have to eat a TV dinner? Well, I mean, if he doesn't know how to cook, that doesn't really help him with anything. Ew, it doesn't even look that good, honey. Poor thing. Go ahead and eat your TV dinner. And then he needs to use the bathroom. Where's the bathroom at again? Over here, okay. Go ahead and use the restroom. I think we're almost done with as far as all the cleaning goes. I just can't believe how... Oh, hey, Greg, he's finally back from wherever. I should talk to him and find out where he's been this whole time and why this place is such a mess. I agree. We should definitely go talk to him. Where do you go? Greg, uh, talk, chat. I love how he just walks in, sits on my couch, and watches my TV. Fair enough, Greg. Fair enough. Oh my gosh, he's kind of adorable, though. I think Greg's kind of adorable. Should go ahead and talk to him and ask him what like, what's been going on. Dude, um, back so soon. I was going to clean up and everything. Sorry about the mess. You did this seriously? Some friend you are. Don't worry about it, Greg. I just hired a maid. So why did you let Samantha put the wedding arch in my yard? That really freaked me out. We just broke up over it. <laughs> Oh, geez. Obviously, Greg doesn't know the signs of crazy. Oh, right, dude. She said this. She had this crazy look in her eye and this big smile on her face. There was no way I was going to mess with her. Exactly. You were scared of her. Seriously? Oh, my gosh. Don't be a wimp, dude. Look on the bright side. I just bought you this awesome new computer. Oh, by the way, uh, don't ask about your old computer. Oh, geez. Apparently, he broke our old computer as well. You were just... Off to a great start here, Greg. I wonder what kind of... Ooh, that is a nice computer. Do we have a desk anywhere? Actually don't know about that. Yeah, we don't even have a desk, so where was the original computer at? Okay, I'll have to get a desk in a little bit. <clears throat> um, oh, the desk is over here. Okay. Let's go ahead and plop that down. Wow, that computer's like a beast. Wow. Alrighty then. Well, thank you for that, Greg, I guess. Um, <laughs> chapter one. As soon as I get back from the SimSat 9000 communication satellite launch, oh my gosh, that is a mouthful, Samantha basically tried to get me to marry her. After three weeks of dating, I had just gotten back from a two-week business trip. It would have been a little creepy for us to stay together after that, which is fine because Samantha stormed off after I refused to marry her. Because she's crazy. Because she's crazy. Aw, these guys are actually really adorable. They're such cute little friends. Aw, and the maid is still cleaning. Poor girl. Poor, poor girl. 
So let's go ahead and tell him a joke. Um, let's go ahead and gossip with him a little bit. I guess this is like his best friend or something. Yeah, this is pretty much like his best friend. Oh, that's nice. Let's play punch you, punch me. Oh my gosh, Greg, that laugh though, honey. Oh, they're so adorable. I like these two. They're cute. So what exactly is his job? So he's a business tycoon and makes 2,500 simoleons a day. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of money. In The Sims 2, that is a lot of money to make in one day. So we kind of need to take a little bit of a shower. So let's go ahead and do that. We're getting a little hungry. So we can go ahead and make some mac and cheese. It doesn't really seem like he has that much of a cooking skill. It's a bit late. I have to leave now. Thank you, maid lady. I have to go, dude. See you later. Bye, Greg. You still suck, but bye. Oh, he's thinking about his ex-girlfriend now. She seems like she's crazy, so we're going to definitely probably see her again soon. Let's go ahead and make something to eat. Go ahead and just speed this up a little bit. That way we can have some food going on. I wonder what his cooking skill is at. Um, we not? I, I forgot how to find skills. I don't remember how. Oh, wait, was that it? Yeah, okay. We don't even have a cooking skill, so uh, this is going to be interesting. Let's. Oh, he didn't burn the house down. Good. Okay, that was what I was afraid of. As far as all the cleaning, I think we pretty much got everything, so that should be fine. And it's nighttime now. Eat your stuff, dude. And then we can go ahead and watch your super fancy TV. Oh, no, not work out. Whoops. Watch your TV. I can't believe how this is already starting out. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit just because not much is happening. I'll probably be... Oh my god, I can't even speak. I will probably uh, play maybe another day or so. It hasn't been that long that I've been recording yet. So it's only been like 12-ish minutes. Um, what time does he work? Oh, he's off tomorrow. Even better. Even better. Awesome! So he's actually learning some stuff from watching TV, which is really, really good. Because he definitely needs to get that skill up. Because we don't want him burning down the house or anything. Let's go ahead and use the bathroom and go ahead and head to sleep. Perfect. So I will go ahead and pick up once he wakes up in the morning. Alrighty, guys. So I actually played through a bit of the morning just because nothing really happened. But we actually just got a call from Greg and it says, Dude, all the guys are going bowling tonight. Forget Samantha. You need to get out of that house. That sounds like so much fun. Oh my gosh. Greg's right. I need to get my mind off of Samantha. I haven't bowled in a while. This should be fun. Oh uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So we should probably change into our everyday outfit. And we can go ahead and... Hang up with him. Hang up. We need to get going, dude. Um, call taxi. And then we can head off to go bowling. I love bowling in The Sims 2. It's so cute. Awesome. So the taxi will be by in just a moment to pick us up. I'm going to have him take a really quick shower until it gets here. So we're going to head off to... Oh, gosh. I think it's this one. Yes, this one. So we're going to head over and go bowling. So I'm just going to speed this up so we can get into the taxi and head off. I am so, 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 so excited. Um, I love, like, all the outdoor and um, entertainment type of things that are in The Sims 2. I think it's so much fun. And it's definitely something that we need in The Sims 4. Just imagine bowling in The Sims 4. That would be so much fun. It would be so cool. I'm really, really excited for the dine out stuff pack or game pack. So that's going to be fun. Alrighty. So we are here. And he just totally slammed the, throat, the door through the telephone pole thing. So let's go ahead. Oh, I can't lower the walls. Fair enough. Oh, it's another little geeky friend. You guys are so adorable. Hey, man, we're already, bo we're already boiling join the fun. Oh, he's so cute. Greetings and salutations, Vincent. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's so cute and nerdy. All right, so let's go ahead and play some bowling. Okay, yeah, they're all really bad at this. Oh, they're 
you're so cute. Dude, it's good that you made it out with yesterday being so crazy and everything. I don't really want to talk about that right now, Greg. I thought I liked Samantha, but I didn't think she'd try to pressure me into marrying or pressing pressured me into marriage after three weeks. That's how you know she's crazy. <laughs> Look at his little happy dance. Oh my god, he's so cute. Yeah, dude, Samantha was a total basket case. I guess. Okay, if you knew she was a basket case, then why did you let her in our house? Like, what? Ah, uh, a swan song between the... Oh, God, what is that word? Rickle silly trance of love. However, the true crux of the issue thus far unmentioned seems prima facie to be... What are you saying, dude? Sherman, English, please, honey. I, I don't know what you just said to me. Dude, Sherman's right. She's probably just after your simoleons. I mean, we have a lot of money, so... <laughs> These guys are so bad at bowling. Vince, don't look now, but the girl at the coffee bar is really cute. Oh, she is really cute. You should go get a cup, dude. She is really cute. Aww. Let's go ahead and order some coffee from her. This is a nice way for us to meet another potential love interest. Ordering some coffee from her. I'll take a coffee and... Oh, how embarrassing. I lost my number. Can I have yours? <laughs> what? I'll give you my number on one condition. Never use that line again. No charge. It's on the house. Deal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's really cute, Naomi. She's really, really cute. So we are going to enjoy our coffee here. He's taking eight years to drink this coffee. Oh, what are these two girls fighting about? Don't really know what's going on there. I think Vincent's actually really, really cute. Dude, how'd it go? Did you get her digits? Strangely, yeah, I did. <laughs> awesome. If you're not going to call her, I'll be willing to take her number off your hands. I bet you would. Oh my gosh. Are you really just going to watch these guys bowl? That's kind of awkward. I'm done with bowling, fellas. Who's up for a pool? Sure. I actually don't know how to play pool, so... Ooh, we can hustle? What? That's hilarious. I didn't know you could do that. That's funny. So let's go ahead and have a boys game of pool. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Okay, Greg and Sherman are just really bad at everything, apparently. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. I got to run. It was nice to meet you, Vincent. You too, Naomi. She's so cute. I kind of want to change her outfit, but she's really cute. <gasps> Girl, and she likes Sherman? What? You are attracted to Sherman? Let's be real. Let's be real here. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit more. <laughs> Dude, you just got out of a relationship. You don't want to get involved in another one so soon. Just give me Naomi's number. I'll get rid of it for you, all right? Um, <laughs> keep dreaming, pal. That is so funny. Um, what? I must bid adieu to you, comrades. Nebula Galactic will be airing shortly, and Captain Xavier has yet to resolve an imprisonment dilemma with the Natu bounty hunters. May the power see you prosper. What are you saying, Sherman? Whatever you say, dude. See you later. Bye, Sherman. Can you please speak English? Honey, you're so adorable and nerdy, though. <laughs> Sherman's a cutie. He's so nerdy and adorable, but I just, I wish he would speak proper English, because I have... No idea what he just said. Oh my gosh, these guys are so dumb. Oh, okay, obviously they did not get along at that point in time. Is there a bathroom around here? There is. Let's go ahead and quickly go use the bathroom. And then we can play another game of pool. Ooh, we should hustle him. Let's do 75. Oh god, Samantha's here. Oh, God. Don't look now, Chief, but Samantha just walked in with your best friend, Johnny. Girl, you little... Um, okay. What is this all about? Johnny Cullen? I can't believe she's with my uh, main business competitor. She was talking about marriage, what, yesterday? This is ridiculous. Flirting with three other girls should show her. Really? Really? Do you really want to do that? I don't think that's a good idea. 
so oh geez all right well he wants to go ahead and flirt with people so let's go ahead and charm this girl oh well she obviously doesn't like johnny Aren't you Vincent Moore, millionaire CEO? Somehow I thought you'd be taller. Ooh, ooh, that was a burn. Oh, there's another girl over here. Let's go ahead and um, hit on her a little bit. That was such a burn. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's cute. She's really, she looks young though. Kind of creepy. Let's go ahead and talk to this girl. I thought you were going to hit on her. Dude, what are you doing? Flirt, hit on. Ooh, he's actually attracted to her. Let's see what she has to say. No? What the heck? Why aren't you hitting on her? Flirt, uh, let's do wolf whistle instead then. She's like, back up. Hey, watch it. I came to here to bowl, not get knocked over by pinheads. Dang. The girls in this game are sassy. We need to find another girl, but there is no other girl here. <laughs> Awkward. Oh, here's one. Let's go ahead and sweet talk this girl. And hopefully someone will flirt back with us. I guess not. Let's see what she has to say. Where are you going? Vincent, what are you doing? You are not listening to me. Go ahead and try sweet talking her. Oh yeah, she is not interested. I left my phone number at home. You wait here, I'll go get it. Dang! He is getting burned so badly right now. Oh jeez. That was pathetic. You're really taking this hard, aren't you? Perhaps you realize how good you had it with me. It's too late now, though. I'm with Johnny, and he knows how to treat a lady. Ta-ta! You're crazy! Oh my gosh, you are crazy! Oh my gosh. I swear. See you later, chump. Rude! Johnny. Rude. You can have her, because she's crazy as hell. So, power to you if you can, you know, control the crazy, because... I ain't about that life. Oh my gosh, it's one in the morning already? Alright, let's see. <laughs> that was like a plastic fork to the heart. Three of them, in fact. Aww. Ouch, that was harsh, man. And I'm not talking about what happened with Samantha. Yeah, I know, but at least I got Naomi's number. Anyway, I think I'll head home now. Later, man. Later, dude. I'm leaving, too. Oh, forgot. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. I signed you up for an e-dating service last night. Now the ladies will be coming to you. Enjoy. Oh, jeez. What? Jeez. Thanks for the warning. I'll see you later. Oh, chapter two. It's been a while since I had gone bowling with the guys. Samantha was there with my competitor, Johnny Cullen. That didn't ruin my evening, but getting shot down by those girls I was trying to flirt with sure did. At least I got that barista's number and she seemed quite nice. She does seem quite nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and call a taxi to come pick us up and we're going to head home. And it will be by here shortly. I really like this little bowling area. It's really, really cute. But I'm very interested to see how things are going to play out with that crazy girl. Because she's, she's actually crazy. So let's go ahead and just speed this up a little bit so we can go ahead and head home. There we are. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and head home. And then as soon as we get home, I will go ahead and end the part there. So, so far, this season is kind of hectic, and of course, we have to have our crazy ex-girlfriend pop up everywhere, which is probably going to happen throughout the entire season, so that's going to be quite fun. Good grief. I went bowling to cheer myself up and ended up getting shot down. It wasn't a total loss, though. I got Naomi's number. That is true. You did get Naomi's number, and Naomi actually seems like a really, really sweet girl. Just hope you don't blow it with her, too. Let's go ahead and take a shower, clean that, and I'm gonna have him grab some spaghetti or make some spaghetti. So I'm gonna go ahead and end off this first part here. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it and are excited for the rest of this season. If you enjoyed, please give it a huge thumbs up. Leave any comments or suggestions that you have down below. Also, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll speak to you all next time. Bye everyone!